how to merge static mesh actors with C++ in Unreal simply because it's a feature I really like and I used it pretty often. So let's get to it. So as usual, here I am in a completely empty header file except the little function we're gonna create today and I also have two forward declaration right here at the top. The first one is the use static mesh because I want to be able to return the static mesh that was just merged at the end of the function. So this is for the return that I have right here. And I also need the a static mesh actor because we're gonna feed a list of static mesh actor to merge together to this function and to be able to do that since I don't have access to the aesthetic mesh actor right now I have to forward declare it at the top right here now it's time to look at the function and I have my little function right here the merge actors function this function is going to take an array of actors as input aesthetic mesh actor array that we're going to merge together and also a path where we want to save the static mesh asset that is going to be generated during that merge so the destination path is going to be right here so a list of actor a destination path the function is going to merge the actors together save the mesh at that location in the project and it's it's going to return you the static mesh that was just merged by the action. So good, and now it's time to jump in the CPP to see how we're gonna do that. And the first step is going to be the includes as usual. And today we're gonna need three includes. We're gonna need the static mesh editor subsystem, which is going to be the object that is going to merge everything together. So that's the object that's gonna do all the work for us. And then we also need the static mesh editor subsystem helpers, which contains all the different options that we can provide to the static mesh editor subsystem to configure the merge. The same way you will do it, in the editor when you go through the user interface and the last one is the unreal ed globals to have access to the unreal editor that is going to let us retrieve the static mesh editor subsystem from the editor all those trees includes are inside modules that are editor only so this feature is only usable in the editor obviously but that's good enough for our needs today but talking about the module it's time to make sure that all the modules are inside the build .cs file so i have my static mesh editor right here static mesh editor and unreal ed let's make sure that those modules are inside the build .cs file so right here i have have to do, 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 do I have something? I have the Unreal ED module right here and I don't have my static mesh editor. So I'm just going to add it right here at the bottom. So static mesh editor inside my build.cs file. So it's going to compile. Perfect. Let's go back in the CPP and now it's time to look at the function a little bit. And actually before starting to do the logic of the function, I'm just going to make sure that I receive the valid list of actor right here as input. So here I'm just going to check, okay, is my list empty? If my list is empty, I cannot merge empty actors together, like no actors. I don't have anything to merge. So I'm just going to return that it was not a success I was not able to merge those actors together because well I don't have any actors to merge so here I'm just going to return right away but if that list contains some actors to merge now it's time to do the process and the first step is to make sure that we have access to the static mesh editor subsystem which I'm going to do just like that so inside the G editor I'm going to get the editor subsystem of the type that we need so use static mesh editor subsystem that's going to give it to us so we have the subsystem right here and then I'm just going to make sure that it is valid because if it's not valid we're not going to be able to merge anything together because that's the object that's going to do the whole work so if we don't have access to it we cannot ask him to do anything obviously so here i'm just going to say that it was not a success i was not able to merge anything because i don't have access to this little guy right here good now we're actually ready to do the real code and actually we don't have much code to do today because the subsystem already does all the work for us we just have to configure the merge and that's what we're going to do we're just going to set a bunch of options and actually i have a long list of options so i'm just going to scroll down a little bit right here so we're just going to set a bunch of options and then provide that to the subsystem and tell him okay merge all those actors with all those options and here you go so for the options what do we have well first we have the package name so the base package names where we want to save the static mesh that is going to be generated during that process that's the most important one you just have to provide the destination path right here and that's going to actually save the mesh to the right location everything else is pretty much optional and you can send them to whatever you need depending on your project so the base package name is pretty important but then you can do anything you want with the rest of the options so first we have the spawn merge actors if you want to automatically spawn the merge actor inside the world or not in my case i'm not going to i'm just going to place it manually afterwards these are the two basic options and then we have a few more options inside f joint static mesh actor options uh, that one includes a destroy source actor if you want to destroy the original actor or not uh, a new name for your actor if you spawn it in your level in my case i'm not going to so the name doesn't matter and then another one if you want to rename the component from the source this little category of setting doesn't really matter to us uh, these are the ones that are a little bit more important these are really the settings that are going to configure the way the meshes are merged together so how big do you want the light maps to be uh, which LODs you want to have if you want to generate the light maps UVs or not where do you want your pivot physics asset meshes material everything texture so all the important options are inside that little category right here inside the mesh merging settings so 
Good. These are pretty much all the settings that are available inside the user interface in the editor when you're trying to merge the assets together. So, well, the process is configured properly and now it's time to execute it. And that's actually super simple. You just have to ask the static mesh editor subsystem to merge the static mesh actors together. You provided the list of actors that are going to be merged together. The options that you just configured right here at the top. So this is the options right here. And then you also have to provide it a little variable that is going to receive the actor that is merged inside your world if you spawned it in the world. So if you decided to spawn the merge actor inside the world automatically, it's going to output it inside that little variable right here, which I had to create right here above just to be able to provide it to the function. In my case, I don't really care about that variable because I'm not spawning my actor in my world, but you have to provide it to the function. Otherwise, well, you cannot call the function. So that's what I did right here. I created my little variable, provided it to the function, and the function is just going to ignore it because I'm not spawning my actor in my world, obviously. The subsystem is going to merge the actors for us, and it's going to tell us if it was a success or not. And that's about it. Now we just have to check if the process worked or not. So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit more. Right here, I'm just going to check if it was a success or not. If it's not a success, I'm just going to give a little bit more information to the user, telling him, hey, the merge didn't work. You can look at the log if you want to. In the log, you're going to have more information about the process because the subsystem is going to print everything that is wrong with your actors and preventing the merge from happening. So everything you're going to need is inside the log already. So I'm just going to say that it was not a success. But if it worked, if everything worked properly, I'm just going to say, hey, it was a success. We were able to merge the actors together successfully. And then I'm just going to do a static load object to load the new mesh that was just generated. So I'm going to do a static load object using the static mesh class and the path of the destination where I just saved my new static mesh. And that's going to load the mesh for us. And then I can just cast it and return it at the end of the function. So the user have access to it immediately if he needs to. So we just generated a new mesh. So I'm just going to return it to the user telling him, hey, that's the new mesh we just generated. Good. So that's it for the code, actually. Now it's time to jump in Unreal to see if it works. And here I am in Unreal in a relatively empty level, except that there's a tree in this one. And that's the tree we're actually going to merge together because right now it's made of a bunch of different meshes right here that are just stacked on top of each other. And that's not really nice. I want to have a mesh that I can place around in my levels. That is, well, that tree right here. All the objects combined together instead of having all these different meshes that I have to move around together. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that using a user interface as usual. So I have my widget right here. I have it right here at the top. I can simply provide the path where I want to save the new static mesh that we're going to generate. And then I can click on this button, which is going to call our new little function right here, the merge actors function. And in that function, I'm just going to provide all the static mesh actors that are inside my level. I only have my cubes in my level that are forming the tree. So it's going to work because I only have those static meshes in my level right now. And I'm also going to provide the path where I want to save my asset inside my content browser, obviously. And now we're going to try to see if it works. So let's go back in Unreal, run the editor TDP widget right here. I have my meshes that are all separated right here. And I'm going to click on Merge Actor. It's going to generate a new static mesh for us right here. And it placed it inside the content browser right there. And now I can place it in my level just like that. I can place all my trees uh, all one by one. And they are all one mesh instead of a bunch of different meshes together. And you can run that one more time. So let's say I'm going to do this right here and going to merge one more time. And now it's going to generate another mesh, but that one contains a bunch of different trees because I had more meshes in my level and it merged them all together. And now it means that I can simply place batches of trees in one little click right here. So good. That's going to be it for today's video. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye bye.